I'm talking to Dr. Chuck Kissler, and Dr. Chuck Kissler is also an expert on flags. Everybody says Flag Day, they think there's one flag, and exactly. in this country, we probably had 1,500 to 2,000 in our history, and we have probably 300, and we try to put up the display for Flag Day to show you some kind of transition from the colonial You personally period. have 300? Yes. That's great. Uh, so there's a transition uh, from the colonial period to the 50 star, and we try to show the audience that their history is really much fuller and richer than they probably thought. This is a colonial flag, and it looks very British. Um, it turns out they were actually thinking about the world at that time, um, but it is an American flag because it existed before the Stars and Stripes happened, mm -hmm. and the British knew the people holding this were not uh, completely loyal British. Uh, when we get to the Revolutionary War, everybody is expecting to see stars and stripes, and here we have a completely different kind of stars and stripes. Here are the stars, there are the stripes. Uh, this flag is designed by people in Pennsylvania because that's where we had to hide the Liberty Bell when the British take Philadelphia. We didn't want the British to break it up. And the people who uh, live next door to where we hid the Liberty Bell, this is the flag they designed because they now were in the war. We get to the Civil War, and at the end of the Civil War, uh, President Lincoln is assassinated. And uh, this is the flag that was actually, the, the, the design that actually was used to drape his coffin when they ran the train around the country so that the people could go to the train stations and pay their respects mm -hmm. to, to Lincoln's right. corpse. Um, and if you look at old photographs, uh, you'll see on the front of the steam locomotive, they've also got the same design flag on the front of the cow catcher. So thanks to Dr. Chuck Kissel, we're going to see a number of flags. About how many are you bringing to the event? There'll be uh, 86 of the historical, and we will line the, the boulevard, uh, the promenade, from uh, Harbor to Anaheim Street with an additional 74 uh, and they'll all be 50 stars. I'm here with Sally Felthouse. Sally is one of the founders, along with her husband, Frank Felthouse, of Flag Day here in Anaheim. It's been a 12-year run. This yeah. is your 13th year. And she's going to tell us a little, about, little bit about what to expect at the program that's coming up. And it's on Saturday, June 14th. Right, Sally? At, at 10 a.m. in the morning. And what can I hope to see there? It's going to be exciting, I know. Yes, it is. Uh, we're going to have uh, start the event with a parade coming down Center Street Promenade from mm -hmm. uh, Anaheim Boulevard. And uh, we've got a lot of musical entertainment, and it's called a tribute, musical tribute to Old Glory. And uh, we'll have our essay winners uh, of the essay of what the American flag means to me. And there's some new entries to the parade. There's, there's a, there is a parade. There is a parade. It's probably about a 10, 15 minute parade. It's and lots of fun. Well, thank you so much, Sally. Thank you. And thank you for watching.